their orders haven't kept up with their new lifestyle. Uh, you know, I've, I've been to several different places like this that, you know, there's one in West Jefferson and everything. And you go in there and it's more about retail sales. You have samplings and stuff that you can sample it and everything. And that's what kind of makes it a bar then, but it's not. It ain't where you go and you sit there and for several hours and, you know, uh, you're usually there to sample the local craft beers, especially when you mention local in your speech. So it's, to me, it's happening agritourism around here. Uh, agritourism is different. Yeah, I know. Very yeah. nice. But it's, uh, it's another outlet for them to sell. Yes. And the retail too. Um, so I'm, I, I'm not set with the bar term that it's got versus what our ordinance thinks what a bar is. It's, especially being that it's going to be more than 50% retail and you said restaurants are 30%. Yeah, that's, I think it's for mixed drinks or it's a public, we can't really, I mean, they're not serving food, that's why it's a question. This is, this is, this is not going to be mixed drinks or nothing, this is going to be. No, this is strictly beer and wines, and when I say local, they highlight the local when they sell regional beer. Yeah, yeah, they sell, they sell crab beer. Yes, crab beer. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, there's a, another statement in the actual application yeah. for the beer, and it tends to indicate that the hardship results from the, uh, the 97 ordinance that doesn't keep up the changing nature of the establishments primarily serving alcoholic beverages. And the 97 ordinance assumes that any bar is associated with consequences that create nuisance to nearby properties. And the craft beer and wine establishments of today are very upscale and would fit well in some of them. Uh, Scott, is the 97 ordinance the current one? Yes. Okay. And I have to caution you, it specifically says, and it's the law, a variance can't be used for a testament to the ordinance. Could you repeat that? The variance? variance can't be used to change the ordinance. The ordinance is the ordinance. So, but we can grant a variance to the ordinance. You can't. And, I mean, I don't know if you want me to do this now or not. I, you know me, I'm kind of a nutshell kind of guy. I can tell you what I see it's boiling down to. Um, and bottom line is, the location is the same. You know, there's nothing unique to the location per se. It's the same for the general public. So you're really looking at number two on your list. Um, these are conditions that are common to the general public. And they can't be a basis for granting the variance, except the grant, if it's residentially zoned property, you can't be, you know, they can't have it within a thousand foot. But, and sitting here, I kind of follow this. We don't have an interpretation. If this property is residentially zoned, it's being used as open space, if that makes a difference. So if the subject area within a thousand foot does not contain residences and can't contain residences because it has to be open space, that's your problem. And that may make it unique to this gentleman, I'm sorry, right. uh, rather than the general public. Scott, do you know if uh, the vineyard I is completely built out, is that correct? Or what? I believe it is, and I, I'm sitting here trying to zoom into this area to look. And for the first time ever, our internet connection is not working, so I'm um, having trouble with that. Unless somebody has a mobile hotspot that they can wall me tonight. Now, you mentioned the uh, creeks and stuff behind your house, I mean, behind the building. So, so the, if you walk straight back behind the two buildings, there's actually two creeks that come in. There's a, there's a, the old, you know, that was part of old Jack Martin Farm mm -hmm. in there. Martin Farm, and there's a uh, branch that runs down from across two point to, and then behind that, coming from the old Martin Lake, there's another branch that comes through. There's two creeks that come into one, and then the uh, 
the vineyards have the, their walking trail that connects to the walking trail right by there. My property line is just west of that, that walking trail there is by about 10 or 15 feet. So it's kind of, that's a bottom down in there and probably subject to some. So they, they wouldn't build on the walking trail because that was a requirement of that development. Correct. If that's if that's their designated open space, I wish we yeah. had something in front of us. But if that's designated open space and it can't be built on, yeah. then you need to decide if that meets the definition of residential zone under the ordinance. Or if he should you know, get a variance because of it. Chairman, I want to look at it. That line is right there. And there's just a little bit yeah, of you see that on the block. That's right. And then what is is that a property line that goes uh, behind the clubhouse way back in there? Um, it's hard to I think you said it is, but it's hard to see yeah. on this reproduction. Can you see what we're talking about, Bill? Yes, sir. Okay, let me let's mm -hmm. see. What we're trying to do is find out where the property lines are. Sir, if you want to. Yeah, Matt, you can come up here too. Yeah. Uh, it's looking like, see that there's a property line right there. And there is, I don't know if that's a property line, it seems like, I don't really know what that line is. Mm -hmm. But it looks like there's another, but we just barely, really just barely on this one that's RS40. But now, what, <clears throat> you see that line coming way around there? Mm -hmm. Now, is that? Doesn't say it's RS40, but we don't know what that is. And I don't know if that's the clubhouse with all that kind of open space there. But I just it. about have a GIS image here for you. Give, me, give me just a minute. Okay. 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 I see what you're saying. You, know, you see that, that line that's right here? Yes. And then there's RS40. You do barely own that, but then you're pretty much, you're not too much on to that. What we're going to do is we're going to pull up. The GAS that, that, that right there, I suspect, is the walking trail. You see this kind of line? Yeah, that faint line is the walking trail. I suspect it's the walking trail because it cooks home to the old railroad bed down there. Yeah, yeah I, can, I can clarify that for you. That's okay. maybe where it looks into right there. Could be. Yeah, so if you click on this property, 
This right um, here is all of the HOA. So it's the vineyards, HOA, like you said, but it does go across the back of um, one resident spot and possibly the very back. Let's check that out. Oh, the undeveloped part of that lot. Yeah, Not necessarily. Let me follow my line here. Uh, as, as long as Scott did. No, it, miss, it appears to miss this one. We didn't hear to do it. So it's, it's mainly the HOA yeah. and the um, back of this residence. HOA. Are you following that deal? Mm -hmm. you know, so that line is sort of reasonable. You think it, clip, it, it doesn't clip that? Okay, so if you use this little inset area, is that right there? Mm -hmm. If you go on back to here, um, it could touch it. It's hard to say without any the way in. Uh, but it's really close to right through there. Can you push the preach back there? Yeah, sure you can. Because his lot, this is his lot. I don't really know what that is. That area is actually part of the That's a walking trail. No, it's um, Eden Trail. It is an interesting problem. But you know what? That's the river, part of the river that yeah. isn't it? That's something to put out in this case. Is that the old river? See, this yeah, is way north of the Greenway. Yeah. So it's all down here, so don't. The river would be a king for the river. See, it's, it's, part, of, it's part of this, that long skinny park that you're asking about yeah. is part of this big property uh, north of the railroad bed which is um, this. Is that the CULV? But this is not RS-40, or is it? That part is conditional use. Yeah. Why like business? through here. That's the end of summer yeah, field road. Just where it kind of clips right around there. Yeah, right. Clips it, right through there. But it does it but you think does it touch it? It's really close it's, right there. I will not that one's close enough that let's do this we can measure. Can you show me your building? Because you get me as close as close as we can. Yep. I think it's right. Okay. Yeah, he's about right there. Yeah, I think you're pretty close there. Okay, so if I just well, you're a little more. Yeah, that's showing a little further than this. So, yeah, so right here, here that according to our circle, oh, yeah. from that, you're only 848 yeah. feet. So I think that circle may go just a, appears to go, and that's not exact, but that's ballpark. So if you get it to a thousand, you're here. So and see, it's it's touching that property. So it swirls around on a little bit, like a thousand yeah. feet. So it does. Appear to touch the back of some of those residential a little more than the circle indicates. But it's just to give you an idea. Right. This is the back of that. 
and it swings oh, the other way to get back, back to the Yeah, so roughly right there, the eclipse one. the back of a couple of properties, it appears at least that one. What is this piece right here? Um, That's a trail. Well, well it actually it's looks it's actually part property. of this property here, okay. which is... Let's see you will be. Okay. Yeah. Does that help? Well, it actually shows a little more of this property than, than this. Right. That I was working right. On. Uh, so it, it swings into the back edge of some residential, but it appears to be all back woods and not close to the homes to your point. Your and there's two creeks that would have to be crossed. No, no, I'm sorry you were giving me one. <laughs> uh, the, uh, 
How's the uh, floodplain stuff showing that? Do you have a floodplain over the water? I can get to it. Because all that, all that property has stayed wooded. Yes. So it either tells me it's in a low lands or, you know, they can't do anything with it. Well, it, it said there are two creeks on it, so there's yeah. a blood land in there somewhere. Yeah. yeah. So the same way. The creeks on my property, I, I can't tell you, I'm not sure where it relates to the other, the other property owners. So the property you're on is the one that's uh, zoned CUHB? Yes. Okay. And and you actually have a creek on the back side of your property somewhere there? Okay. Yes. You said two creeks, right? Two creeks. Two creeks. Two creeks. I guess, Mr. Chairman, I would think that justice would be done in a more exacting manner if we did have the information that you're talking about and knowing <coughs> exactly where that point is and how much of that lot uh, and how much of the other lot, the RS-40 lots, I, then I think we'd be equipped to make a better decision. Yeah, uh, Scott, you said you could provide a more accurate map. Yeah, I mean, we, we can overlay exactly where that building is on the property. And, and, and this is using GIS as a satellite. It, it's going to be close within... I'd say five, five to ten feet, just allowing for some error yeah. where that thousand foot radius will be. And that could be drawn and zoomed in, better graphic for you to look at. Yeah, and while you're doing that, can you, in the area there, see if, you know, you can mark it. What is this? Is this open space from the vineyards here? And right. And is that other, anything else that's clipped? Yeah, do we know if it's legal? Yeah, is I mean, it, you know, in the watershed where they can't do anything with it anyway? Uh, it, it'll be a little harder to determine the open space overlay, but yeah. it's easy to tell that that whole track for the HOA, that is HOA and not intended for building lots, right. as you know. It's, right. it's the clubhouse and the surrounding. They're, they're in that critical. Four of the watershed also, they can't build them on 50% on that lot. Well, I think that's probably why they have their yeah, yeah, space there. Place they yeah. couldn't build them. Yeah. But and I'm enough. talking about the adjacent lots there. That's also yeah. something we can't yeah. on. It just seems to me that's pertinent to your decision. Well, have, have we reached the conclusion that the circle <coughs> that the plan put them on here is in error. Is that what we're saying? Uh, we're we're saying, saying it's probably not accurate. It, it appears to a bit too small. And I think in your discussion some other issues have come up that are not depicted in your materials. Such as is that the watershed? What what is that that might touch it? I know it's a watershed See, even the, the one inch is 700 feet, the little scale that they've got down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And it would, it, it's just not accurate. Enough. Yeah, it's too small. Yeah. But you can still see it's a pretty good distance. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very large buffer. Mm -hmm. I apologize if that's not accurate, but we'll, we, can, we can make it more detailed and more accurate. The, the point of what I look at is. As a scale at the bottom. And if, uh, if you go there and uh, if the closest that, that, uh, that I could come up with is uh, 1,050 feet, which would be at the 
sixth tick mark. And that, when I tick out on the thing here, uh, it's, it's, it's about laying right on that line. So, the, the circle that's shown on the, the map of the center of it coincides with the scale that's on the bottom. Yeah. Now, if the scale is wrong, then the circle is wrong. But if the scale is right, the circle is right. And do we know, is this a reduction or an explosion of the something that's happening? Uh, well, if it <laughs> is a reduction, then the scale should have been reduced yeah. to the same yeah. amount of the circle. Yeah. 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 Adjacent. So when we say adjacent yes. property, we mean 
adjacent to the subject property irrespective of the radius, correct? Yeah, because there's a long yeah. sliver of property that runs yeah. along the back. And that property owner could be notified, but the people that live on the other side of it potentially not because they're not adjacent. That, that may be my question. I remember seeing that, uh, that, that sliver that comes from the mm -hmm. uh, property side of the piece. Right. That right. It turns mm -hmm. out to be uh, worthless as far as uh, that in, may, that may be where the trail is. Uh, well, that may be where the trail is. If, if we're going to continue it, I think we should just do that because I think right now we don't have any answers to what we're positing and it could be an issue later on. Well, I, I, therefore I'd like to make a motion uh, that this issue is continued until a week from tonight when we have additional information. So move. Uh, I think our court might have the only The only issue is we have to check to make sure that this building is available. If it's not, we, can, we know we can hold it at town hall, so it'll be either here or there, and we'll let you know. Okay. Can you get time to notice about that? There won't be a notice because it's, it's continued to us. But when it's continued to a date and time certain, it doesn't mean a place certain, right? So, right, but we're, we're, just, we're saying that the place could be here or a town hall, and that's a problem. Right, but that meets out the standard, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, is, there, is there any discussion on that motion? Uh, I wouldn't be there. Uh, no, I'll be out of town. Okay, well, if, if the other four of us come, it'll constitute a quorum. So, um, is, isn't the variance, uh, I think it requires a four-fifths? Yeah, it does. So, we just, we don't have an alternate for the BLA right now, is that correct? Okay. Right. No. So, if you're not here, I mean, it will be So it would Don, be. are you still an alternate? <laughs> no. Okay. No. Well, I mean, because you could sit in. This motion to continue has not been seconded. I don't believe it yet. Uh, uh, this, this point, if we, let me just propose this. Whether or not that thousand feet, the, the thousand foot mark, touches the back piece of that one or two lots that we saw that mm -hmm. could potentially be within that thousand feet. If we 